If you've been following me for a while, you'll know about my love-hate relationship with my sofa. If you go back to my first apartment tour from almost two years ago now, I mentioned that I hate the style of my sofa, but I absolutely love how well it's constructed. She has held up very well. I sleep all over this couch and she hasn't sunk it in or anything. So she's good quality. She's just not my style. So if I could have done it all over again, I would have. I've been wanting to change my sofa for over eight years now, but I just really didn't want to sacrifice the quality and the build of my sofa and it's near perfect condition for a sofa that just pleases me aesthetically. So it's been really hard and it's been a big challenge for me to find a sofa. But after doing tons of research, even doing some videos here on this channel, searching through sofas with you guys, I finally found a sofa that not only fits my style aesthetically, but also lives up to the quality and build that I'm looking for. I'm excited because today I partnered with Castlery to furnish my apartment. Castlery is a brand that I've mentioned on my channel time and time and time again. And they so graciously sent me a new sofa and a couple of other items that I'm gonna share with you throughout the rest of this video to help transform my space. So like I said, I've been wanting to transform my space for a long time. And I took a little bit of a risk here because I talk about the Scandinavian, Japan -y vibes here on my channel. And with the decor that you're gonna see, I've kind of stepped out of that comfort zone. I've explored a different style, a little bit more contemporary, mid-century modern. If you guys have watched my videos, where I film in my bedroom, you'll know that I have a very mid-century modern style in there. And I kind of decided to bring that style out here. So I started off with a mood board that I created in Canva. I put together a few pieces, picked a few pieces off of the Casterly website and began styling them and just kind of piecing things together to explore a new vision for my space. I really wanted to warm up the space and dare I say, add a little bit of color. So if you guys are interested in learning how to put together a mood board, gathering furniture pieces from different stores and online shopping and putting it together to get a clear vision before you guys dive in and spend a whole bunch of money, be sure to leave a comment down below because I would love to make a video on how I came together and got this vision for my space. So not only was the delivery fast and speedy, the delivery was packaged very well and it was brought right to my door and dropped off by lovely, lovely gentlemen who left it here in my living room. But before I did anything, the first thing I needed to do was clear out my space. So say goodbye to the old living room that you guys know all so well. Uh, it was time for it to go. I've been talking about switching up my living room for a long time. You guys know how many times I've mentioned that I hate my couch. I love the quality, but I hate the style. So shout out to Casterly for sending me a new sofa, a new rug, and some other cool stuff. I'm switching around the living room. It's a big change for me. It's not something that I would normally go for. I haven't seen the furniture. It's actually been sitting here for quite some time. So it's time to get this unboxed. And it's also time to deconstruct my living room. You guys have seen it over and over and over again, and it's now time for an update. Before I show you guys all the great pieces that I picked out on Castlery's website, I do wanna talk about a few reasons as to why I chose to go with them as a company and why I feel that their furniture is the perfect fit for my space. So Castlery is a modern furniture company that curates a space and creates a story for each and every home in your room. And they carry so many styles from mid-century modern to contemporary, even a little Japandi and Scandinavian vibes in there as well. So when you're searching on their site, there's almost a guarantee that you're gonna find a piece of furniture that you'll absolutely love and will fit perfectly in your space. They're also a direct to consumer brand, which means they cut out the middleman. So they're able to offer affordable and honest pricing to their customers, which is great. They also use high quality raw material that is built for longevity and multi-purpose uses in a Room. They also offer free swatches, which is really good because they really encourage you to be picky with your space. Order as many free swatches as you need to design and curate the space that you want to make sure you get it right the first time. Along with free swatches, they have standard rate shipping and a 14 day return policy. So it allows you two weeks to fall in love with your furniture. And if you're not happy with it, you can send it right back. You guys know it was very important for me to replace my existing furniture with high quality furniture. So we just cleared out the living room. I haven't seen it this empty since 2016 when I moved in. Now, normally I recommend putting like a non-slip mat under your rug, which is what you guys saw me pull up before. This rug is a little bit bigger than my last rug, but I still want it to be non-slip. So I'm probably just gonna put down the same non-slip mat. I don't think it needs to be the exact size, 
but I do recommend putting some kind of non-slip material. We're gonna grab the rug, grab the non-slip, and then we'll put all the furniture together in place and see how it turns out. After we cleared out the space, I wanted to start with the anchor piece here in my living room. The anchor piece that you always need to start with is a rug. A rug is literally going to tie your space together. A rug can determine the color palette in your room. It can also determine the feel and texture in your room, as well as divvy up and divide rooms into different spaces. So the anchor piece that I chose to go with is this Desi wool rug from Castlery. I love this rug. It is similar in color to my last rug. I love that the texture and the color palette alone changes the vibe in my space. This exact piece is what started my inspiration, is where I drew color from for my space, it's where I drew inspiration on how I wanted the space to feel as well. I love that it still had a very neutral vibe, yet it felt warm and cozy because of the brown and black specks that kind of run throughout the rug. And again, the texture of the rug, it being wool and a little bit chunky, but not too chunky, it really does add a nice warmth to the space. So I did play off of that when it comes to the couch, the decor, and other furniture that I added to this space. So I had a few things on my checklist when it came to getting a couch. Raise your hand if you grew up in a home where you weren't allowed to sit on the sofa and it was purely for decoration. That was me, mom, I love you. But the sofa really was for decoration, so I didn't get to enjoy lounging in this space as much as I do here at my own home. I spend more time on my sofa than I do any other piece of furniture in my home. So I really needed my sofa to check everything off on my checklist. So I needed it to be good quality. I also needed it to be comfortable. It had to have durable fabric. And I really wanted to lighten up the space just a little bit. So I went with a cream sofa as well. Oh, I also I needed it to have a chase sectional because I've never had a chase sectional before. Like I mentioned, our sofas at my parents' house wasn't really for lounging. And the one time I fell asleep on somebody's chase sectional, it sold me. So I needed to get a chase sectional. And when I tell you I haven't left this corner I literally have not left this quarter. <laughs> so I picked out the Owen Chase sectional in the color natural. The sofa came packaged very well. The only assembly needed was to add the legs to the sofa. So assembly seems kind of easy. Uh, all they have to do is put on the legs. I'm not a big fan of instructions though, but I also want to make sure I have all the parts. How many parts is it? Uh, I don't know how many parts there are. According to the instructions, do not skip any steps. Okay. <laughs> it's like Ikea. Ah! Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. I do this at work all the time. Lock washer, flat washer, screw. So you have lock washer, flat washer, screw. Assembly was a lot easier than I initially thought it was gonna be. There was just a couple of screws and washers and some legs. And like I said, the assembly was a lot easier than I initially thought. It took us about maybe 20 minutes to put everything together. The sectional also comes with a swivel hinge. That way we can connect the two pieces together so that they don't separate or move around in the room. that we got and this was a little bit of a wild card for me because this also went in the direction of changing the whole vibe from a Scandinavian vibe to a mid-century modern vibe. But I really fell in love with the mid-century design of this piece. So I picked up the Harper sideboard from Castlery. I love the color. Again, it's similar to the wood that I keep in my bedroom, but I wanted to upgrade my bar space and I felt like this sideboard gave me the classiness and elegance yet still mid-century modern vibes that I was looking for. And it was the perfect option that I envisioned to elevate my bar space. I love the fluted looks on the doors as well as the gold accents and the black modern sleek legs. This sideboard played off of some of the colors that I picked out in the rug. So I started to kind of tie in that color scheme throughout the space.
So those are the pieces that I've added to my space. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to Castlery for partnering with me on this video. I wanna give a big thanks to Castlery for helping me reimagine my space. I really do love the way this contemporary mid-century vibe has come together. So if you're interested in any of the pieces that I've shown today in this video, be sure to check the link down below. You can view the items there or you can view any other items that Castlery has on their website. I also skipped over a lot of design in the space because I didn't wanna make this video too long. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I put together the space, some of the, the other updates that I've made outside of the Castlery furniture, be sure to comment, show us more so that I can show you guys the rest of the space, how I put it together, and some of the DIY projects that I've been doing in the space to kind of tie everything together. I can't wait to show you that. So I hope you guys enjoyed what it looked like so far. Be sure to stay tuned for the next part of the video where I give you the full tour and the full rundown. Also give the video a like if you found the video helpful or you liked anything that you saw in this video. And like I said, if you love any of the products that I mentioned here, be sure to check out that link down below in the description box. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.